Hey guys, it's me, Simon. Welcome you guys back for another video. And today is another tutorial. Last week a day tutorial. I know, I know. But uh, it's time for another one and another one. But anyway, um, all jokes aside, yeah, I, I'm doing another tutorial because my internet's really slow right now. It does show four bars. It really does. But it is really, really slow, and it's not gonna work. Even uploading this video is gonna take a long, long, long time. But anyway, um. So yeah, I was gonna do like a Slither Dial game or something, maybe a gaming video, even something different. But um, I don't, I just don't have the time for it this week. I'm sorry, guys. I am working on a bunch of intros and stuff, and one of the like effects that I'm using in the intro I'm making at the moment is this, what I'm showing you guys right now. So this is a tutorial of how to use the spline wrap tool in Cinema 4D. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'm gonna show you right now. So you're only gonna need one program for this, and that is Cinema 4D. Any version will work. I am using Cinema 4D R14, um, R13, 15, 16, 17, anything will work. But yeah, I'm using R14 because yeah. And I do have 64 bit machines. I was going to open that up. So you guys just open up your Cinema 40s at home if you want to do this as well. This is very useful. You guys can use this for like intros um, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So yeah. So here I am in Cinema 4D. Um, the first thing you want to do is go here and just click that and just make this 1920 by 1080 if you guys watched my last video you guys do know that I like doing this let's make that 1020 by 1080 we are making animation today so let's just make this all frames um go to save go make this to avi movie right here format and just save this to whatever you want i'm just gonna call something random <laughs> i don't really care desktop save you guys can call it whatever you want um, from here, anti-analyzing, just go best, and just don't, don't touch any of that stuff for now, for now. Filter, just do right here, because we're making an animation today. And yeah, basically, I don't tinker with anything else for now. So that's it. So that's just standard. Like, I like doing that because it gives me some more workspace, and I know exactly what's happening. Now what I gotta do is, I'm gonna be showing you today how to make it with text, because that's the most common thing that people wanna do with the spline wrap but you can also use it with cubes a bunch of other stuff if you do want me to show you guys how to do it with another object like like this video let's go for 10 likes um so yeah it's just yeah um so let's jump into this so first we're gonna get a more text up in here um i'm guessing that you guys already know how to do this if you guys don't like know how to simply use like cinema 40 then it's not a tutorial for you because i'm gonna be doing some non like if you guys are a beginner then like if you guys are not like familiar with the cinema 40 like user interface or whatever if you're not if you're not used to it if you don't know how to use it well then i think you guys should go over go watch someone else's tutorial of how to use the basics i might actually make a video like that so if you guys want me to see make a cinema 40 basics um tutorial like this video let's get 10 likes and just comment down below also if you guys do need an intro make sure you guys comment down below because i'm working on a bunch of intros right now so yeah so anyways let's get into this so make sure you guys know how to use the ui for cinema 40. so we're just gonna make name this name for today um for this i don't recommend making the depths to 60. make it to like 35 that's like perfect for what we're doing today subdivision just make that to 12. we'll be making the font to we did we used gang of three last time so i'll be using pepsi I'll, I'll link this down below i'll link it down below so you guys can download this really cool thing also also if you guys do want this really really sick background i'll also link this in the description below because it is really good and even if you don't have windows 10 like i do it can make your desktop look really clean just have like four things and like it looks really clean it looks really nice i like it anyways go back here um, align, see that right there? Just make this to middle and go to caps and just make this to fill it cap, fill it cap. And just like last video, we're gonna make this to three, four, three, four. Now, last video, I did use like really fancy text and everything. And that just one picture, that one frame took one hour and a half to render. And we're gonna be doing like what, like 90 frames today, so that's not happening. And I actually did render this with like textures with using the spine wrap and it took 24 hours to render so today we'll just be using a white text because it doesn't matter how it looks for today you guys can go jump over to my other tutorial link it down below so after you guys do this tutorial 
go back and then so you can like improve your text if you're like uploading this i'm not like i'm gonna upload this video but i'm not uploading this intro or whatever this test is so yeah so anyway i'm gonna link that down below so you guys can go check out how to make really really good looking text and yeah so that's the that's the tutorial i made last week anyway so now i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the spine wrap part so what you're gonna need to do is get a null and so let's go like i think it's in here not in here the cube yeah right there get the null click on it what, what a null does is basically like a folder so you can keep everything clean and for today using the spine wrap you will need you, you're gonna have to use a null so anyway let's go put make the motex the child of the null let's pick it go go in there so there we go everything's in a folder right there so there we go now we gotta do is go into this the deformer tab and just go into spline wrap just click that right there it comes up right there nothing happened though and that's the thing what you gotta do is put this don't make it a child of the null just put it right under the motex right there okay so it's in the null folder like it's in it like see how it's like attached to it it's just not like a child because we don't need that right now what we will be needing is actual spline for the spline wrap to use because as you can see it's this spline it doesn't have any spline to actually use so we're going to be making a spline right now now this is a little bit complicated so this is what i'm saying make sure you guys know how to use the cinema 4d ui so here we go um don't be frightened i will be taking you through steps so yeah here we go so what you gotta do is go here click on it don't like don't just click on it like hold it hold the left click and go to this the akima one and just click that because that's the easiest one you can use any of these if you guys are already really familiar with it but if you're like learning then I would I would do that key right okay now what you gotta do is just go like this and then just click this button right there right there okay now what you gotta do is go zoom out a bit on this one just maybe a bit on this one maybe a bit on this one as well even this one actually yeah just zoom in for all of them you can see more of the page right now we're gonna be doing you can use any spline you want I'm gonna be making a circle just so like I might use it in an intro that I'm working on right now. Like I said, I am using the spline wrap tool in my intro. So yeah, so here we go. Just like I said before, if you guys do need an intro, make sure you guys like and comment down below um, if you want to want one and I will add you to a list. Anyway, so here we go. All you gotta do is left click and you can see this dot. Well, if it's okay if you want to mess up, I'll show you how to clean it up. But anyway, so all you gotta do is like this and pretend i like mess up right all you gotta do is hold ctrl z at the same time and i'll delete that one and like ctrl and then z and then just press it at the same time and boom so here we go oh we're we'll trying to make a circle here and as, as you can see if you do it if you did it once it'll be like a line if you do it twice you can make like a bend almost like a yeah like a bend let's make that like that and then maybe do another one that's good another one and another one right there. And we got a circle, cut a bit of a circle. Now if you wanna clean this up, is um, let's press this, I already pressed it, let's press that right there. And press this like mouse tool right there, let's press that. Now what you can do is you can actually like move it around. See how you can like move it around? So you can just move it around. You can see on all four of these, where that actually dot is. So like if you can see top left corner, like you can see how it's gonna look. Anyway, you can also make it like 3D and everything like, Make like a roller coaster, like make this go up. And make it like whoa, like that. But I want to keep it 2D for now, because for most intros you you make you want to make it 2D, right? So there we go. I'm just gonna fix this up a bit, like fix it up. So I'm trying to make it a little bit more circular. It is not that good right now. So I'm saying you can like do the spine real quick. Then you can fix it up like this. Yeah, you can definitely fix this up a bit more. But anyway, you guys can play around with this. I'm just doing it real quick just to show you guys how to do this. That's good enough for now. So now I'm just going to go back here. You can keep this selected if you want. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> but yeah, so there we go. We got a spline. So you can get out of this mode. Go back here. So right. See, it's still still nothing happening. All you can see is this. If you render it, you can't even see it. So what's the point, right? It's useless, right? No, it's actually not. All you got to do, take this spline. You don't need to make it like a child or anything. All you got to do is click spot spline wrap see it's looking for spline now we actually do have a spline we have created one so now take this and let's put it right here see it boom 
And if you named it something else, like if you like renamed this, like if you named it a line, if you just named a line, right? Name a line, then it'll come up line. So that's the name of your thing. So if you have a bunch of spines, and if you guys look really complicated, then yeah, so it'll tell you which one you have. Now what you gotta do is go here, and see the spine up. you gotta put that above the Motex. So just go here, and put it above the Motex. And there you can see, it's, it is on the actual line. But why does it look ugly? Why is it upside down? And why is everything really bad, right? Here's what you do. We're gonna have to tinker with some settings to make it not thing. It is a little bit complicated, but like I said, make sure you guys know how to use the UI. So here we go. So what you gotta do is go to spine wrap. Um, what you gotta do is just go see mode where it says fit spline. Let's put that to keep length. So now it's gonna keep its length so it looks much better now. So that was the main problem. Like before I was like this, all ugly. Let's do this to keep length. And now we solve one of the problems. Second problem, it's upside down, as you guys can see. That is because um, if we just go to rotation and just do the banking, just change that to 180, all right? Boom, boom, there you go, really easy. Now what you guys can do, you guys can have it some different ways. This is one of the ways you can use spine wrap. Spine wrap can be used a bunch of different ways. This is one of the ways. The second way you can use it is like, see how this text is outside? If you want it facing this way, just go axis and make it this minus X. Now it's facing this way, it's like curved in and like, you know, like yeah, it's curved in and everything's cool. Now what you guys wanna do, if you guys want it like any other way, you guys can make it like, plus y so it's like that really cool because we're making like an intro with like a bunch of names here but like whatever your choice also you can make it like this it's like really cool you guys can make it like out oh, in um it is really cool you can also make it like z so you can have it like this way like on thing and yeah so and like you can also have like, like that or like that which just changes the way it faces. So yeah, that is cool. But today, the one that most people want to use, and especially for intros, is the plus X. Yeah, the plus X is what most people use. And sorry guys, if you have some air bubbles or something, I am not using a pop filter right now. So it is really bad. But yeah, so here we go. That's how it'll look. It looks really good. Also, just like I said before, these are the two most common ones. Uh, this one and a plus x today we'll be using plus x because that's what most people can use for intro that's what i'm using for intro it's really useful now what you gotta do is like you can you can like take around the strength so if you want to be like like that like you shouldn't really you don't just don't mess around with that but you could do that if you want now what you gotta do see how it's like this like like i said before you guys can go to the tutorial of how to look your text better so it doesn't look like this really ugly you guys can learn how to do it also, if you wanted to have more bend, all you gotta do is just like fix up, like uh, like I showed you before, like do this. And you can like f like just fix up your points to make them look like to make them more bendy. So yeah, that's what you do. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, also, if you wanted the text to look not plain like this, like I said before, go check out the tutorial. It'll help you. Um, keep in mind that it will take you like 24 hours to re render like a 90 frame thing. So yeah, just say. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to show you guys how to animate this. So what you got to do is just first, yeah, first of all, get a physical sky. It'll, oh yeah, okay, oh, oh, yeah, just, it'll help. It'll, it will help. Um, now what you got to do um, is, no, actually we, we won't need a physical sky for this because we're not trying to look, make it look good. But if you, if you do use my last trail and add it to this spine wrap and then, yeah, then you should add physical sky just go and watch the last tutorial it'll really help with this tutorial anyway now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click spline wrap just click that then go keyframe this and just drag this green thing all the way to whatever you want i'm just gonna make it like 85 you can like adjust it later now what you gotta do just like just change your angles so you guys can see everything and just see offset right there just boom see just like put it all the way up Put it all the way up to 100, and you can even keep make it go up. So you can just make it go in circles like that, as you can see, and it looks really nice. I put the offset to 400. You can also type in whatever you want, like for like 500, for example. It'll go another round. So there you go. It looks nice, and and all we gotta do is just press keyframe and then press this again so it's not selected, 
and as you can see, it can go in really fast. And yeah, and this is the exact same tool, exact same tool. I'm gonna. This is exactly how it's gonna look like in my intro. Um, it's just gonna look like ten times better because I'm gonna use the tutorial from last. So to make the intro I'm making, I'm basically smushing last week's tutorial and this week's tutorial together, and some other knowledge I know. Which if you guys do want more tutorials and stuff. So yeah, and there it is basically. And if you want to render it, let's go here. If, if you want to render it properly, anti-analyzing, make this 16 by 16, and then just render it. Let's go over here and click that. And uh, it might take a while to render, especially if you have like a really good um, if you have um that really good text from my last week's tutorial. But yeah, so that's gonna take a long time to render, but. It does look really, really good. And yeah, guys, and that's basically it. That's all for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is tutorial number three on my entire channel. I did how to make your Minecraft run faster. I'll link that. I'll link this like in my entire playlist of tutorials down below. Um, if you guys want to subscribe, make sure you subscribe, like. Let's get this video to 10 likes, and I'll do another tutorial. Comment down below if you guys do need an intro, and if you do, write what you want the name to be. What do you want this to be like? You want it to be like whatever your YouTube channel's name is. If your name is like Tom plays plays or something something I don't even know okay Tom Tom Tio if your name is like Tom plays right so it can be like that so if you guys do need an intro make sure you tell me um I will write it and make a really good looking text like last last uh, week's intro I mean last week's tutorial make sure you guys go check out all the links down below um that's that is basically my model click all the links click the links so, i don't even know actually i just made it up on the spot anyway thank you guys for watching this video please like subscribe and comment um and yeah make sure you guys go check out all the links down below and thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye